Hello, friends. We're already here with more of our... We got Pop Ready. We're already here with more of our Resorty is Bound at Battle Brothers playthrough. Last episode, we're running out of money, but we'll be just fine, don't you worry. An ambition, however, has been fulfilled. Having finally gathered the coin and equipment, you managed to assemble a full complement of 12 able fighters. When next you walk down Tiefenstadt's main street, the men break into full-throated marching song. A few of the townsfolk mutter under their breath about dirty mercenaries taking the time, town. The others walk along and shout the words with you. Stand tall, brothers. People can see... This is not a good song at all. This is not a campy song. People can see us as a real mercenary company now and not a handful of wandering vagabonds. That's not a song at all. Fritz the dog declares, We trade in strength, and now that our numbers have gone up, so will our price. It appears he has the right of it. You notice one particularly fat nobleman sizing up the company if he already has a task in mind. The Battle Brothers are now a force to be reckoned with. Once the men have settled in for a celebratory drink, perhaps take another stroll through town to see if more lucrative contracts may be available. A whole bunch of people are now in good spirits. The team is ready to go fight well for us. Alright, into the city please. We need money. Uh, into the city please. There we go. Alright, his two skull contracts keep coming. I want more than one skull ones, please. This place is in a rebuilding effort still. Will they buy my wine? They'll buy my wine for 122. We bought it for 107. That's better than nothing. And then we need to buy some better food for ourselves. We're down to only one goat cheese remaining. Alright. Sell those. And now buy I guess some fish. Fish appears to be the uh ones closest to the price it should be. Uh, yeah, so buy two dried fish. We made a little bit of money on that wine trade. Not a ton, but that's okay for right now. We do want to get ourselves some more tools and supplies. At 243 money, this is probably close to the best bargain we can get, but I think all of our items are in good repair right now. It's not really necessary. Sackcloth we don't need, definitely. Uh, we have one person I want to make into an archer. We have one too many people on the front line right now. So Janeld here, I'd like to make into an archer. Our friend had a brand the sluggard. Actually, got a better basic range skill than uh, Janel does, but Janel is eagle eyed. Uh, 38 starting out versus 40. Um, though the. They both have one star. I think the advantage that Janel has is that he has the high resolve possibility, where Hatterbrand is just bad. I don't mind if you die, little friend. I don't mind at all. Okay, let's see what the quest is here. Uh, are there any items we could buy and sell back for a reasonable price? Looks like no, unfortunately not. Too bad, too bad. Okay, what is the quest you have for me? Tell me your story. Important delivery, heading out to Hohenhau, roughly two days north of here. Alright, uh, so we know where the uh, Hohenhau, Hohenhau is. We were there earlier. Uh, let's talk money and see what you offer me. 11 crowns per head you arrive with, up to 15 heads. We have 12 right now, so... A uh, whole bunch of money, whole bunch of money here, and then 640 job is done. Get more money for that? No, you're already getting what you're worth. All right, accept your offer. Let's go two days north. Uh, provisions for the way are provided to your men, so you don't have to pay for food either. I accept your contract. When we leave town, we'll be joining a caravan and going. The barber here, what else we have? A tavern, temple. Uh, we don't need any more men. I mean, truthfully, we should probably start trading out some of our less good people, we'll keep them alive for right now, because I think there might be a morale hit if you dismiss this this people from the team. They all love each other. They're, after all, brothers. All right, let's go to the north. Trading caravan, here we go. Uh, I thought we were going to go up this direction to Hohenau, but uh, maybe we're going up this way instead? We'll explore some new territory on the way. Now, going this way is a little bit worrisome to me, because uh, we saw some bandits this way before. Those are orc hunters. want no part in those. I believe there are uh, brigands that way. Uh-oh. All right. Uh, I see footsteps. Hopefully they are friendly. Hopefully the Nuranide militia will help us out. Oh! During the camp, sitting and jesting with the men while they check their kit, hone their blades, and mend their armor, your mind wanders off to thinking about new ideas for improving the company and its reputation across the land. What ought we to do? Okay. So, we could get a battle standard, so recognize from afar. Um, for 2,000 money. Uh, soldier feeder itch for the open road. We spread word of the company far and wide. Let's pay a visit to every settlement. That would take forever, no thanks. Let's set out into the wilderness and discover the unknown and plunder it. 
Did a wizard tomb, goblin camp, or aught else we find? Yeah, so find some random uh, encampment and destroy it. I think for now we're gonna go for the battle standard. I feel a little cowardly. That one seems like one I could do. So we gotta get quite a bit more money to pull that one off, but I'm sure we'll make some money as we continue heading along our horse carriage. Spawns new territory here. Now, unfortunately, we can't go any faster than this. Could we dodge brigands again? Uh oh. Uh oh. All right. So far, so good. We're in some scary woods here. I see some footsteps ahead. Hopefully, there are friendly peasants walking along and not more brigands. Um, brigands didn't notice us. Good. I have no idea under what conditions enemies attack. If they're uh, sizing us up, maybe, or if they're instead uh, just randomly moving about. But I believe we made it safely to Hoenau. By seeing a whole bunch of enemies on the way. Uh, you find an abandoned wagon amongst some tall reeds. Fritz the dog checks it out and barks back. Get it? He's a dog. He barks. It's broke as shit. I think we can salvage parts of it. Five tools and supplies. Great. That's, uh, what, 50 or so money saved right there. You've made it, having delivered the caravan just as you promised Grimmel the Burgermeister you would. The caravan leader thanks you the payment of crowns. He seems rather thankful the fact he's alive. Briefly regaling you the tale of when he barely escaped an ambush by brigands, who ignored us. They know we are too strong for them. You're not as if you give two shits about what can happen to the man. 640 money, they're not well supplied. I think well supplied means they'll sell me their things for uh, for a cheaper price, maybe? Uh, they also have just painting villagers, so probably another quest to fight spiders. I don't think I want. A Fletcher's here, though. Bows and arrows for... Not terribly expensive, a war bow. A long bow with massive pulling power. Distinctively designed for battle. That's 50 to 70 damage. Compare that against the short bow, which is 30 to 50. That'd be a huge upgrade, but it's so expensive. Hunting bows do 40 to 60 damage. Uh, that's a little improvement there also. Uh, the war bows I'd love to have. Love to have hunting bows also. Even our crossbow would be good. We have one crossbow right now. Is it a light crossbow or a normal crossbow? We have uh, one light crossbow here, 30-50 uh, damage. You pair that against the better crossbows. They are uh, up to 40-60 uh, to 60 and then 50-70. to 70. Yeah, All great improvements, but as before, we just don't really have the money for, for that kind of outlay, I don't think. We gotta produce more fighting. Gotta get some more items and do some more trading here. Um, though I, I think I want to make one more archer, so I'll go ahead and buy... A simple short bow, I think. Yeah, the jump from short bow to long bow is uh, substantial there. So one more short bow and one more package of, not bolts, arrows instead. Arrows there. Uh, we'll then convert one of our frontliners into a backliner. Um, so you with the eagle eye and the 38 in range skill. I mean, he starts with 26 in melee defense. How's that? The 26 in melee defense is actually better than anyone on my front line. They want to keep him as melee then. Again, the eagle eye. Again, the eagle eye. I, I just don't know how to think about this at all. All right, who else has decent range skill? Uh, Hadbrand the Sluggard, who is insecure and hesitant. For now, you, my friend, get to go into the back line. Uh, probably going to replace at some point. Give you some arrows. Give you a knife in your pocket. And we'll then shift the lines over some. Move over a little bit this way. And so we have a whole bunch of spearmen, and we're, we're looking okay, I think. I think we're, we're looking like a fighting force. We're probably still flankable, which is not great. Uh, maybe we should drop back my swordsmen to, to hold the hold the corners there. Or maybe better yet, we should have these as spearmen as well. Just spearmen all the way around. We have our, our archers fire, fire, fire. Um, it feels like increasingly turtly. I really enjoy the turtliness of this, so... Let's do like this for right now and see how that works. Also, all of our men are currently content. Mood will always trend towards this state. All right. Buy them some drinks, I guess. Might help a little bit. So let's uh, see. Are there any other items here to buy? Um, we'll probably need more ammunition eventually. Uh, it's being sold for a little bit more than it's worth. Uh, but we'll not buy any more right now. Go ahead and check the armorer also. Wow. Such attractive items here. Unruly Ward, an extraordinarily well-crafted piece of Lemelar armor. It's covered with beaten gold, makes it truly stand out. 32,000 money for that. Man, I want to be an armorer. Mail patches. 
A large patch of nails may add to any armor to further protect the most vulnerable areas. Plus 20 durability on any armor. Jeez, these are like uh, higher level I uh, items what I've got right now. A kite shield. Elongated wooden shield covered in leather that offers good protection also to lower body. Bulky to handle in close combat. So lowers maximum fatigue substantially, but I don't really want to go to kite shield before too long. For now, this is all too rich for my blood. Um, and the uh, marketplace has for sale copper ingots. Copper smolten and cast into ingots for easy transportation. Fitters pay good coin. Uh, we can afford to buy all three of these, but I have almost no money left. Um, I, I feel like this would not be a good use for our money, unfortunately. Yeah, it's all, all a little pricey up here. Oh, that would probably be good. Also, a flail. Can't we do it flails? Yeah, you know, we can knock off people's heads this way and uh, maybe save some armor. Okay. Um, this contract can be fight spiders, isn't it? Uh, foul beasts have been terrorizing the town and surrounding farmsteads. Why do the satchels remain in my ownership? He hasn't returned. Okay. It says, go kill some beasts out there. Two skull. How much did you pay me? 710. Nope, I'm a coward. Sorry. Not willing to fight spiders. Let's head back around to Krautvacht and to uh, Sondheim and see if we can get ourselves some additional... Uh, easier quests, please. Uh, crossing the mountain is not some ideal. Also, I suspect there are, are brigands in some of these forests. Maybe we could fight. Um, clear out some peasants, or some, some uh, raiders, and make the peasants happy. But, uh, nobody here quite yet. I wonder if our characters prefer to go through the, uh, the, the roads always, to force men to the, uh, the forest. Okay. Now, this is the place where the, the nobles live. We have no trade goods to sell. Unfortunately, so uh, we gotta just continue on. We gotta remember which places are uh, inaccessible to us until we get uh, the nobles to like us. But I think any place with a wall, we can't uh, we can't get missions from. Maybe here though. Maybe here at Sondheim again. What you got for us? Uh, another level two quest. What you got? Uh, this man can solve our problem. Sell sort of a problem. The relic I need finding some such thing by the name of Blood Vial of the Holy Mother. I don't give a god, god, good old da god's damn about it. It's hard to say. Give a good old god's damn about it. These people worship it. All right, so it's in the Tomb of the Forefathers. Probably be another spot where we fight against uh, skeletons. Now, we killed some skeletons not too long ago and managed to get ourselves a fair piece of money and lose only one person. Uh, unfortunately, those skeletons are very strong against archers. We have quite a few of those. Let's try. Let's try to find some skeletons. 730 money. More. 730 is it. I accept. Alright, we're going to the Holy Mother Tube. Archers, archers, archers. You are bad. Uh, I could buy some second range long weapons to try to attack across, maybe. I hope they're not fighting in, a, in a, a swamp this time. That was the big issue last time. Um, so, do they have for sale any long reach weapons? They have a war fork for 400, a pitchfork for 70. Actually, selling for less than it's worth. Alright, uh, we'll go ahead and buy a pitchfork to fight across the front wall and uh, arm our peasants. So, which of our peasants have the strongest melee? We got a 51. 53, 45, and a 54. All right, 54 wins. Had a brand, you get this. I have pitchforks on the outside sides. And hopefully they can poke across the way. Uh, I should probably get a hat also. We are killing a little low on cash, right? Do you have a cheap hat here? Uh, sure, 59 money is plenty cheap. Straw hats for all. Put that as well on hat a brand. Everyone is hatted once more. Uh, looking like a real farmer now with his pitchfork and his straw hat. And we still have three archers. I trust the crossbow man to do well. I feel less good about the, the uh, normal archers. I, I don't think I can to, to buy any more uh, long-range weapons. We'll get them eventually, I'm sure. For now, though, we got this. And I'm going to put some weapons into my... Well, everyone has some weapons, looks like. But Tostig does not. Tostig is with missing items. Um, who else has nets to throw? Our, our outside line people have nets. I'm going to give them to my archers instead. That way... Um, if we find their shooting is ineffective, 
They can at least throw a net in and maybe help a little bit. How expensive are nets? Is it worth using at this time? Worth 50 money. Not huge cash then. That's not too bad. Right, do our frontline people have nets also, or are they all in the back line? All in the back line for now. Okay. So, got two nets. We got a whole bunch of troops here with bandages. Let's find ourselves some skeletons to fight. They are, what direction from here? They are west of Sondheim. All right. Oh, man, quite a bit of west. Quite a bit west indeed. Time to hi-ho, hi-ho, over the mountains we go. I was hoping they'd be down this way. I wonder if there are any missions down this way. There are hidden, hidden engagements everywhere. Yeah, 20 food left, that's not a ton, but I'm not gonna stop at Kraut Locked. Maybe on the way back we will. And we're not in a swamp this time. Instead, we're in a grassland, it looks like. Maybe a mountain, I'm not sure. Two of the Forefathers, Long Forgotten Crypt. You venture into the ruins of Vol with Volker the Fisher at your side. The blood vial of the Holy Mother is easy enough to find, if not a little too easy. Something else catches your attention altogether. There are pots strewn all across the stone floor. Each piece of pottery is a reservoir for spears, and shields hang against the walls on hooks that seem far too ancient and rusted to hold up a cobweb, much less a piece of metal. Suddenly, Volker the Fisher grabs your arm. Uh, sir, trouble! He points down the halls, and you see a man standing there, his movements janky and quick, as though he were breaking in his suit of armor. Probably some awful uh, metallic sounds. Crunch! Suddenly his head snaps up and stares at you. Despite the fact he's standing so far away, his voice carries as though he were speaking right next to you. The false king dares trespass here? The empire will rise again, but first, you must die. These are fighting words, no doubt, and you grab the cell sword to make a quick escape. You don't get far outside before the mercenaries take up arms without your ordering so. Following behind you is a formation of soldiers in armors you've never seen before. They step forward in formation like a turtle's shell, clasped together with their shields held up to provide protection for the whole unit. Based on the fellow in the ruins, you've no doubt they've come to kill you and the rest of the company. So we have the blood vial of the Holy Mother. I wonder if we run away, if we get to complete this mission. Maybe cowardice is the better part of valor in this case. We'll see. Fighting some ancient auxiliaries. We fought them once before. Two arms, two arms, two arms. Uh, we'll see what the ground is like. Uh, looking like it's mostly, uh, mostly level terrain. Uh, it's, it's okay. So can we shoot anybody yet? We cannot. All right, as before, I'm gonna pass with my archer for right now. And my front line feels like it's a little bit off right now. I'd like to be somewhat more uh, down this way. Our back line uh, two-hander can't quite swing forward. I might have all of my lines step down one in the future try to fix this. So we have 12 men. They have six. We'll see how this goes. All right. Uh, pass with you again. Kind of a pass with everybody for right now. I don't think the skeletons will get in range to be pushed back quite this turn. So I don't want to waste any fatigue by doing premature spear walling. They don't have any... Yeah, they don't have any uh, archers at all. It's just a bunch of people with shields and one fellow here with no shield. I think he's carrying a dagger. Yeah, a bunch of one-hand melee and shields. Uh, I wish I had someone with a shield-breaking weapon. We don't have that right now, so let's see what happens. All right, archer again. You can't quite reach them, so we'll pass your turn for now. Uh, passing literally everybody. Oh man, that Arna is beginning with wa uh, wavering um, morale is not so good. Hopefully, we get some kills and inspire him somewhat quickly here. Uh, I'm gonna actually move Gebhard forward a line just to give a better front line for our backliners. I'm glad that we all get to go first. Now we are we're potentially wasting by. Allowing them all to come in, but yeah, we're we're good. They can't move that far. Uh, we'll spear wall up next turn and hopefully push them back a bit. Hopefully all of our spear walls will hit. We'll see what happens. Okay, archers now get to start shooting. I want to shoot the fellow without a shield if we can. Uh, low chance to hit on them all, but if any of them hit, we'll be happy. Uh, you can't do anything yet, so you're going to pass your turn. Uh, you could spear wall, but I think it's only one range, unfortunately, so we'll... Uh, so spear walling takes 35 fatigue. 
think it'll be okay. I'm gonna spear wall and hopefully we can spear wall across the front line. I don't think we can though, we'll see. More archers again. Uh, guy with no shield. I hit the shield, a shame. At least we're hitting something though, right? Our, our shot's not all going into the uh, the dirt. Okay, um, so at this point we are resolving the end of round one still. So I think I'm just gonna pass still. So I believe our entire team gets to go before the skeletons go. But I don't know if they meant move up in in order. Do I just see the rest of the um, combat queue here? I don't think there is, unfortunately. But I think what's gonna happen is we're gonna take our turn here and then we'll get to move to the top of the queue afterwards. Um, uh, waiting this turn will also have you act later next round. Okay, glad I looked at that. So no, because we passed this turn, the skeletons now move higher in initiative for the rest of the, the fighter, at least for next round. So yeah, we do want to spear wall and shield wall on the entire front line, I believe. All these misses! All these misses! What am I paying you all for? That's what I want to know. Right, spear wall, shield wall. Uh, this fellow, we're going to move him. No, we're going to actually keep him back. I believe that if this ancient auxiliary comes to here, uh, or even to here, I believe that uh, Janold can push him back. So you're staying here, and you're not going to do anything this turn. Um, repel, what's this? The repel's a move on just the pitchfork, not on the warfork. Uh, poke and shove away a target in order to force away the user by one tile. So you use the pitchfork to push somebody back a little bit. Maybe next turn. Uh, you're going to pass your turn. or may I shield up for you. Shield wall, spear wall. Shield wall, spear wall. Shield wall, spear wall. All right, we are ready for some folks. Uh, all right, some of us still are, are ready to go. Uh, let's pass your turn for now. I was hoping these skeletons would come in so far, but no one yet. Uh, archers get another round. And the first skeleton moves. First skeleton decided not to move. Might have a very awkward standoff here, because our archers are so bad. Hey, finally a hit, though. This might be very, very awkward if they continue not to move. Although we are damaging one of them. He wants to be their commander, right? Not carrying a, a shield means you're somebody pretty important. Hey, they're coming in. And they didn't get pushed back there. I thought they would, right. Um, at this point, the spear wall tried to push him back, but did not succeed in doing so. I'll pass you for right now. And then it's time to start attacking. So we don't have a way of... We don't have a way of a, of uh, breaking his shield. We can try and knock him back, though. Let's try for that. That'll be 4 AP. If it fails, we're going to attack anyway. So sh push him back. Hey, success! Now hopefully he'll come in again and uh, get speared. We'll see. Welcome in. So the shields up helps with resisting against spear wall, I guess, but we push back to them successfully. That's great. All right, we are unfortunately going to run out of fatigue before too long. For now, we're going to have you um, we shield up and knock back. That seems good. Great. And we still have a shield wall on Eberold, I believe. So spear wall, shield wall... Ah, this fellow's actually not quite next to this tile. Other spots will be best not. All right, he's in spear wall position. Cool. Hopefully some comes in. We'll see. Then we their turn. You do the same thing. Shields up. Spears up. Can't do both. Fatigue. Fatigue is the worst. All right, just spear wall them. And same here. We'll see they come in again. Hold the line right there. Hold the line. And he comes and gets pushed back. Great. Now you can't reach anybody across the line yet. Maybe next round. All right, but we get another round of shooting. Uh, we're very close range now. 33% chance of hitting. Oh, we're, we're, we're not taking him down gradually. That's pretty good. All right, leave Arne for now. See if this guy comes in. Uh, you can't reach anybody yet, so you'll wait till later in turn also. Crossbow away. We are gradually chunking down the first uh, auxiliary. Archers are terrible, though. All right, you can't see anybody yet. Pass for now. Keep on arching. Keep on arching. This is probably a profound waste of our... Of our... Um, what's it called? Our, our arrows, unfortunately. 
Alright, skeletons have now gotten in all the way. It's time for us to start fighting back, I believe. Down here first. So, coming around does not help against their morale. If I go to here, we only have 3 AP left. I can't attack either. Go to here instead, we'll have to attack once. We'll do that. Uh, a really good strike there, my goodness. Uh, took out 3 quarters of life in a single blow. Up top here, we have 3 enemies to fight. Uh, they all have shields. Uh, so... I can only shield up or thrust, but not both. I just want to thrust twice, and all the enemies here at full life. Uh, I worry about Arna maybe uh, breaking and running away. That'd be awful. They're going to try to stab the nearest person here. Uh, no luck. Uh, eventually hit, though. Good. Uh, hopefully Arna can do some strikes there. Uh, all these shields, though. Okay, I want to finish off the guy who's pretty well damaged. Uh... Unfortunately, he dodged a bit. We'll keep on striking in, and uh, there, now the fatigue's happening. Now the fatigue. Okay. Um, do we have anyone left who... Yes. Uh, we, we have some archers still? No, we have our, our pitchfork men who can maybe start attacking across the wall. We're not going to get any more attacks on this weakened uh, auxiliary, unfortunately, but let's just stab. Failure. And you... Uh, almost down. A hey, one down! That gave Fritz the dog some confidence. Or it did not encourage Arna at all. It's a hit himself, himself might help. Unfortunately, this direction here, only a 13% chance of hitting. Here are 26. Um, not great odds either way, but we'll, we'll swing a while and then we'll repost, I think. Hopefully he can uh, uh, cause someone to uh, uh, get a strike against them. We'll see. All right. Hot Brown in the back row. I cannot do anything where he's standing right now. Uh, so, let's see. How are we going to move? I want to move in such a way that I can um, attack someone next turn successfully. Just don't see a great spot to go to, though, because um, I don't want to go in front row with no shield. Up here... Up here, if we go here, we can attack next turn, but again... Well, so if we move to here, I think that means that next turn we attack this person. But if either of them move to attack Hatterbrand, then uh, they'll get attacks opportunity as they move out of zone of control. So, let's go to there and see what happens. Alright, an attack from back row. A whole bunch of people, 46% chance, 33, 46, or 40, 33. But the most wounded one, which is... Uh, I want to do another one of those 46% chance of hitting. And it's one of these two. Barely bruised or unharmed. Alright, we'll go this way. A good hit. Well done, Volker. And Volker gets another attack right away. Well done, my friend. Another good kill. Uh, Eberold's quite inspired by that, though. Arne is still a coward. That's a shame. Enemy gets turn and one good shield block and then one armor hit, unfortunately. From here, we can't hit it all, so we need to step forward one more time. And then, we could try to push back. Um, so none of our other people have attacked yet. If we do a push back, then our uh, front row people cannot attack. I'm going to pass Hadabin's turn for right now, and then see what happens at the end of combat, I think. Alright, time for some archers. Now, this archer, I think, has a, a weapon of some sort. These have throwing nets. I don't think we need to use those. I'd like to save them for now. Um, they, none of the enemies seem to have armor remaining. Uh, head pieces, but no, no chest pieces at all. So, there's no reason to move daggers for that. So let's just shoot in a little bit some more. I got a hit. Almost got a kill there. Crossbow friend. Uh, finishes him off. Great. I mean, this entire line needs to collapse this direction to help out. Really do on that. But first, three skeletons. A knockback. Uh, destroyed a helmet on Janold. Wow! Wow! So in one round, Janold's helmet and his body armor were both fully destroyed. He also seems to be bleeding as a cut arm. My goodness, Janold. My goodness. Alright, time for archers to get out melee weapons. You got a throwing net. We're gonna use that throwing net, I think. How do you do that? Use the throwing net. We have to equip it, maybe? Or, let's see. Um, equip... Item takes 4 AP. 
And then how much to throw? I have no idea. Let's equip it though. And to throw it takes 4 AP. All right, we're gonna throw it at, I don't know who I'm most concerned about. This guy has a shield wall up. This guy does not. The throw net will always hit the enemy, always hit the enemy. Cause them not to move or defend themselves. I think it might cause a shield wall to drop. Let's try that then. We'll throw it that way. Uh, shield wall's still up, unfortunately. That's too bad. Okay, we're going to move, start fighting. We can go there, and the next turn we'll attack well. And you'll step to here. Well, just forward a little bit. Poke in once. Uh, hit through the shield there. That's great. Ever will do the same. One more hit. I mean, one more hit there to get the kill. Unfortunately, our front line is a little too far away to do much right now, but we'll try to get back to help out. All right, pokey guy. I'd like to poke someone back. So it's a 39% chance of hitting either of these enemies. Knockback here is 39 also. I, I worry about Janel dying. That'd be awful. Awful is what it would be. But let's just attack the guy who is... Uh, so he, he gets to maintain shield wall defense while, while trapped in a net. I wonder if next turn he can't shield wall. I don't know how long nets last. They're both in... Oh, this guy's actually quite wounded. This guy's quite wounded. Ah, Janel died. All right. He had high ground there. Uh, I wonder what could have been done better there, other than just have better uh, stats and so on. But uh, they, stay, they stay netted up throughout. Good to know. Now, so skeletons get high ground. I probably should take the high ground there instead of uh, letting the skeleton do so, uh, but I wasn't really thinking. We attack, we get 34% chance or 38. All right, this skeleton get a turn in a moment. Hopefully not everyone dies. Good dodge. Good dodge. All right, let's kill some skeletons. Ah, well done. Now move to here. Crossbow friend. Step forward one and then shoot. A miss, what a shame. Archer friend, step forward one, and shoot. We shoot, we might hit a friend here. This direction, no one's in the way, though. Hit him in the helmet, that's fine. Hostig, time to re-equip your bow again, my friend. You use that uh, net so well. 90% uh, chance, I think this using archers at all is bad here. All right, we step forward one here, and then stab, miss. Now, again, losing the high ground, I think is Pretty awful. All right, so net friend is out of the net now, but he's still shielded up. There we go, another dead skeleton. Take the high ground. Can't quite get up there because of low fatigue. We need to upgrade Everold's fatigue immensely. All right, we got the high ground. It's now ours. And... Arna is now fleeing. Unfortunately, he's also bleeding, I believe. No, he's only pierced hands. So he's not bleeding. Where Volker is bleeding. But I think we get the kill pretty quick here. Or we'll hit a shield. Okay. In one moment here, the auxiliary will attack my people. Can we get to this spot? We can't quite. Oh, the ancient auxiliary is almost dead. Just one more hit and we're good. Come on, team! The final strike necessary. Anyone who does it gets free beer on me tonight. Unfortunately, we are not able to arch at all. Get a jump in if possible. Cool. Can anyone get an attack, please? Literally anybody. Ah! Miss. I will stay high ground there. Sword friend runs away again. At least he's not dead. That's what counts. All right, finish him off. Ah, another shield strike. There we go. One dead enemy. Or no, one dead friend. A bunch of dead enemies. Jan Hole has been defeated. Uh, did 36 damage. Killed no one. Who killed the most? Uh, looks like nicely distributed. No one in particular is the winner there. Arna lived. Jan Hole did not. He was in the company for six days. Poor sweet friend. What's this? A silver bowl. A large silver bowl of remarkable weight should fetch a good price in the next city, worth almost 500 money. Also a ton of crowns, a bunch of shields, and a fancy new helmet. 
Uh, fortunately, we did not get back all of the items from... Oh, probably this shield and this uh, Militia Spear are Janolds. Sorry, friend. Sorry you died. Nonetheless, a bunch of old weapons to sell back again. And a new helmet for our friends and a really expensive bowl. Big, big money for us. That went well. The battle's over. The blood vial the Holy Mother obtained. You tell the men to prepare for return to Hell Mother Treasurer. You're not sure who attacked you, but it's time for some money. All's time to put in a cut, and we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. See you in real, real soon.